In Twitter news, Twitter has been accused of not paying many of its bills after Elon Musk took over. Twitter, of course, made many, many financial commitments. And Elon Musk has been less thrilled about taking over these financial commitments. Of course, when you buy a company, you not only take over its assets, but its liabilities. And Elon Musk bought the whole kit and caboodle. So, you know, Twitter's agreements are his agreements because he bought it over as a successor in interest. And now he's being sued by a lot of people, his landlord and other people for not paying bills. And now a PR film firm has come over and said, we haven't been paid for our past agreement. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get started with this. According to a recent Reuters report, a PR firm has alleged that Twitter has not been paying any of its bills since Elon Musk acquired the company. This has been a bit of a common refrain among various companies. It adds that Twitter owes it nearly a million dollars comprising six unpaid invoices plus a cost for the subpoena relating to the lawsuit. Joel Frank said Twitter owes $830,498 in six various invoices plus costs relating to the lawsuit to force Musk to complete the buyout after he tried to back out. So, you know, give us the million dollars for the company's debts. As per the report, the PR firm also added that Musk ended its contract on November 16th, three weeks after the buyout closed, and no longer communicates about its payments demanding beyond an automatic pledge. So can Twitter even cancel the contract is, of course, an issue as a matter of contract law. Elon bought the company. The company signed a contract. Elon, now a successor in interest, is sent bound by the same contract. So to the extent that Twitter has racked up debt, he's obviously responsible for that. And also, to the extent that the contract itself can't be canceled, because depending on how the contract was written, you know, he'd be responsible for a breach of contract. So lots of issues there. And if not breach of contract for this contract, other contracts that might be binding Twitter as well. Apart from this, Twitter's also being sued in Delaware by three former employees that include the Twitter CEO in relation to some of these issues. This goes a lot to those golden parachute provisions that they were all promised. Elon Musk is like, I'm not giving you any of those golden parachutes. You're not getting any money for a lot of the higher ups at Twitter. Again, can Elon Musk do that? That's a matter of law as it relates to it. if Twitter as a company had contracts with its CEO and others that said, you know, in the event you get fired, you get, you know, a $30 million payday or whatever the number would be then Twitter is presumably bound by that even after, even after Elon Musk takes over. So depending on why he fired them and how, yeah. So maybe he has to pay these settlements, maybe not. Depends on the details. It's a matter of contract law, and they're still fighting over it. Recently, of course, Elon Musk also announced that he would step down from the role of Twitter CEO, which he had previously indicated, and has indicated that NBC Universal executive Linda Yacanero would take over as CEO. So a little bit of old media there, but perhaps a stabilizing influence for the company. We will see. Thus, that brings us to the end of the case dealing with the Twitter lawsuit by the former PR firm, who says they haven't been paid, along with their landlord, along with former executives at Twitter, along with other Twitter employees, who also said that they weren't given the right severances in relation to their contracts. So again, this is just an issue of pure contract law. What contracts did Twitter make? Elon is bound by those contracts. He bought the company. He buys the assets. He buys the liabilities, including contractual liabilities. So all that good stuff. So that is what's going on in that story. And that, for the moment, brings us to the end of discussion of this story.